Welcome the freak back in. We are here live with my Twitch. Twitch, you want to say hello to the YouTube gang? Um, we are going to be listening to some more Warning, or The Warning, and this is their song called Sharks. Before we jump into this video, though, just a friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. And with that being said, Twitch, are we ready, darling? Are we ready? Oh my god. First time chatter even says, help me. What is this monster I've created? What have I done? <laughs> Yes. Okay, I could I could see how people would mosh pit to this already. I love how she scales up at the end of the U. Just looking at the lyrics here. Interesting. I, I have a feeling that the sharks are kind of like metaphors for, you know, certain. Certain toxic people in life, you know? Watch me drown, rape me to shreds under the light. Sharks come circling, don't say anything, waiting for the teeth to bite. They're bleeding you out, and then don't bleed, don't bleed, you know? It just, it, 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 it really puts into, like, because obviously the warning are in the spotlight, um, it could, like, it could also mean, like, on a bigger level, in a sense, like, uh, just people, society, uh, news, just kind of, like, it's kind of like that saying, doggy dog world, you know, um, in a sense that the sharks are, whether it's media outlets or, um, people in the comments or whatever, kind of, tearing you apart in the sense and being very open about it because it's like watch me drown rip to sheds under the light um so that's what it's really kind of making me feel it's making me think of I don't know if that's necessarily what they're talking about but that's kind of what's being put in my brain but let's continue I love how she scales up. It's fun. I love Danny's vocals. I love that one picture of Danny where she's like almost like it's like the Kubrick stare. Right, um I'll try and mm. 
This one. I love this photo of her. It's the Kubrick stare. Especially when it's paired with some of the lyrics in this song. It's the meat that really matters. And I feel like when they say meat, I'm just going to say one more thing too. Because uh, they... Uh, uh, keep quiet, put the muscle on. You're stuck in your skin. There's no way to win. It's also... People in the spotlight always get criticized about their bodies. Especially. Especially women. Um, I, again, I don't know if that's what they're referencing to, but it's kind of that thought of work out, have the perfect body, or else they're just going to rip you to shreds, you know, in that sense. And that's just what I get from those couple lyrics or whatever. Um, and they're waiting to pounce in. They're watching over you. Like they're, it's kind of that sense of like all eyes are on you and they're waiting for you to stumble so they can like nail you with it in a sense. Um, it's that's again this is my perspective on it this is my perspective on it on this song <laughs> I like this portion now or this portion too just the way they slowed it down and I'm sure they're gonna yeah And I like how when they say don't bleed, don't bleed. Oh, Danny, your voice is gorgeous. Um, okay. One thing I also really like though is when they say don't bleed, don't bleed, they don't say it like it's it's not Danny's like regular bold um belts vocals. It's don't bleed, don't bleed. Don't bleed, don't bleed. It's like, yo, if you just bit my arm off, you really, you're telling me not to bleed? It's that. But in, for me at least, and the way that I've kind of already been perceiving this song, when they say, don't bleed, don't bleed, it's kind of like, stay perfect. Don't bleed, even if you're hurting. <laughs> you know, that. I really like that. That was dope. Um... Danny's vocal's amazing. It's a super fun song. Like, they have fun with it. Like, with the don't bleed part. Um, and then the portion where it was more that they were just kind of talking through it. And with the guitar going... Gang, gang. Gang, gang. That obviously, it's not making that sound. I'm just being like... Bam, bam. Bam, bam. You know? Um, and then... Oh, and before we finish the video, let's actually watch um, what they say about this song. So give me a hot second here. Let me, let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. Um, okay, let's see what, what their thoughts are on the song before we finish this up. Because I'm curious to see where I've missed it, the mark on, well, again, everybody's thoughts on a song are going to be different based off of their own life and their own, the way that they think and all of that stuff. Um, but I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see. So let's look. Like sharks. That's so, why okay. it's named like that. Sharks <laughs> came to be because um, it's also one of those songs, these songs that I started out uh, by myself. Yeah. I was using like a little MIDI keyboard and I was doing a demo. Mm -hmm. I had a drum loop that I made and I had a bass synth. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just beep boom, beep boop, boop, beep boop, beep boom. And like for me, that sounded like sharks. Yeah. So sharks like, is about being ah, judged. Kind of like dun dun dun. -a. Dana, Dana. I'm assuming that's what she's. It sounds like sharks, you know. And like for me, that sounded like sharks. Yeah. So sharks is about being judged all the time and being yes. what you do or do you don't. Yes. So it's like, um, the like the tagline is "Don't bleed." So basically, it's like they're telling you you can't bleed, but they're biting you. They're sharks, so you are gonna bleed. So it's like you can't ask this of me. If yeah. You're, me. And if you bleed, so like, you make mistakes, they'll find you. It's a very angry song. It is. Oh, yeah. I sing in, on this song. Oh my you god. Do. Yes, you I do. sing you do. the verses on the song. Technically, I'm going to sing the whole song. 
and then we played we were touring this whole time while we were recording this wait and i was feeling so tired after every show because i sing every single backing vocal ali sings some as well but i sing most of them and i was not like keeping up anymore because i had to sing like my lead vocal songs then yeah. all the backing vocals and, and i was like, like no, no. More. on this no. album i'm not gonna sing lead yeah. but i have the verses and rhythmically of the lead guitar and the bass are really so hard to play to it, yeah. and sing like the melody that yeah. is on there yeah. so i was the only one who could like technically sing it while playing at the same time good thing that we are three singers yeah, yeah for that just switch around yeah, yeah. honestly like <laughs> this song i feel like i can speak for the both of us or maybe even the three of us being on time so hard this song is so hard it's hard because it's, it's music kind of slow sure. yeah this is my most challenging song to really play it's one of my favorite it's songs, songs. It's it's like so i can't good. wait it's to so play heavy festivals like yeah. heavy rock it is heavier metal festivals yeah. and play that because like, they're gonna see three chicks yeah. go on stage and you're gonna scream. and then open up open <laughs> right track i was kind of on the right track um i don't know what versus uh pow pow song but yeah i don't know what verses she sung but regardless it all sounded magical it all sounded magical um but thank you so much for recommending that. It was really cool also to see like their perspective of it um, and kind of see the correlation. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see all of you guys super, super soon. Bye.